The Victorian Premier John Brumby has given in-principle support to 59 of the 67 recommendations from the Royal Commission into Black Saturday. But he's more equivocal on some of the most radical proposals. Also today, the Commissioners spoke for the first time about their report and reflected on the emotional cost of a harrowing inquiry. Jane Cowan reports. Would the Commissioners stay or go? If I had a swimming pool and a wet blanket alongside, I might stay longer than I would otherwise do. But how many people really want to, to make a wager on their life? Because that's what it really is. But Commissioner McLeod said if the policy had been properly applied on Black Saturday, the death toll could have been halved. They're either children or elderly people or people who were infirm for one reason or another. They shouldn't have been there. They hinted at their attempt to make the recommendations realistic. We're not ignorant of the pressures on government. And acknowledged a pervading sense of sadness. There are times that there was really a dry eye um, in the room. You couldn't help but feel your heart had taken over from your mind. The commissioners stayed well away from the politics surrounding bushfire policy, making no comment about what the Victorian government will do with their report or the individuals named in it. The Premier promised in principle support for all but eight of the recommendations, including a major shift on evacuation. We do fully support voluntary evacuation. But other big ticket items like underground power lines and land buybacks are on a shakier footing. We are not ruling in, we are not ruling out those recommendations. We have an open mind on those recommendations. The government should be accepting, in principle, all the recommendations and getting on with it. I don't want to get into the, a political debate. I've tried to avoid that the whole way through the way in which we've responded to bushfires. Well, it's very easy to tick the boxes on Royal Commission recommendations, but what people want to see is the actual uh, recommendations put into place. This uh, Royal Commission is political in the sense that Someone's got to take responsibility. Public policy professor Scott Prasser says the real test will be whether the government embraces the substance of the recommendations or just goes through the motions. Governments uh, sometimes uh, have got no choice but to respond. I would say in this case, where the government is not very far away from election, they've got to be seen to be very active in getting these recommendations put in place. Uh, I think uh, the governments often sometimes try to uh, camouflage or uh, you know, avoid taking the hard decisions. But when you're up and against election, I think the government's really got to implement these things pretty strongly. Some governments uh, accept without question the, the recommendations. And I'm a bit surprised that Premier Brumby seems to be hedging a bit. As for the commissioners... It's a pity if we simply go off and <laughs> read a book. I'm certainly exhausted, but with the satisfaction of feeling that I've done all I reasonably could for the 173, um, I will, if the Dalesford uh, CFA will take me, uh, volunteer. How could they say no? Jane Cowan, Lakeline.